Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So today I have for you guys, I might get a little heated talking, talking in this video. I'm gonna try to keep my emotions in check and not let my emotions check me. So anyways, we are here with my Babe Box unboxing. This is the July Babe Box that I received on July 31st. Which I didn't even think I was going to receive because here's the scoop. First of all, little Focalure makeup, Focalure, Folicure, whatever the name is, makeup. They have this promotion going on where your first month is free. All you pay is shipping. We're like, okay, cool. But you can't unsubscribe before you pay for the second month. Okay, cool, I'll buy the second box. First of all, it's almost $40 a month for this box. Not tripping. I already knew what I was gonna have to pay. So in order to not have to pay for the first box and get the first box free, on July 1st, I was charged for the July Babe box. I was like, okay. I even waited a week till it said your order was confirmed. Okay, so I'll be expecting my box. So I went to cancel for August and then about July 15th, July, between July 15th and July 20th, my order status still said confirmed. So I emailed them asking questions and they were like, oh, well you canceled your subscription. I said, well then give me my money back because I canceled for August, not for July. And so, like I said, I knew if you canceled before you paid for your second box, you're gonna have to get charged for the first box. And I said, well, no, I canceled for August. I still wanted July's box. So either give me all of my money back or send me July's box. Because I waited till the order said confirmed, I waited till it got pulled out of my bank, and I waited till I knew I was gonna get July box before I canceled for August. So pretty much it's like a week of going back and forth with these people. And so pretty much so I was, I get to the point where I tell the person who's emailing me like, what are you not understanding? I canceled August box. I want July box. I understood the conditions of if you canceled before you received July box that you would be charged for the first free box. I canceled after I was charged for the second box, after it said my, ship, my order status was confirmed and I was going to be expecting July box. So they say, Pretty much it's my fault. So I say, well then if that's the case, return me my shipping. That's the least you could do because I paid for shipping on my first free box, which means it wasn't even really free. I still paid $7 for shipping. So now not have you only charged me shipping twice for a box that I wasn't even gonna receive, but now you're keeping the price of the first box, which like I said, is cool because I understood the conditions, but give me my shipping back. They said, okay, that's fine. We'll refund you your shipping. Well, guess what I get an email for at the begin at the end of last week? Your babe box has shipped. Received it July 31st. I peeked in the box. This box ain't worth $40. Their customer service ain't worth you spending $40 a month. Their customer service ain't even worth you getting the free box. So, their customer service ain't even worth you buying makeup from them. So let's get into this babe box, shall we? And they're overpriced. But what was in this box, and I might use it because it's free money, was a $10 gift card. You wanna know what I bet that was for? All that hassle they gave me. Or did you receive a $10 gift card as well? Let me know. So you get this little card in here, tells you everything that's in here. The only thing that I can, kind of see and I really don't even think that this would be the full size so I don't see why it would cost this much but this says this is the John Masters Organics Evening Primrose Shampoo for dry hair. Now first of all on this paper it says I should have got a hair chemist jojoba and shea butter scalp oil. That ain't the same thing but I do have dry hair so I'll try it out so like I said I don't think that's the correct price but for that scalp oil, it says retail value is $14, so they're already lying to you because that's not what I got. So I can't tell you the true price, but it says what I was supposed to get was worth $14. The second thing I got was this face palette. It's a blush and highlighter palette by the Folklore Makeup brand. 
and this retails for $22. Wait till you see these pan sizes for $22. Where are you? Where are you, little pan? Okay, it's not that bad. I'm being a little bit dramatic. But it's still pretty small, so you get two highlighters and a blush. So let's see what the blush looks like. Not too shabby. These highlighters are dry. They're kind of dry whenever I touch them. But mm, they highlighters though. They are highlighters, so I can't complain about that. But like I said, I feel like that's kind of small for $22. For it to not be a very well-known brand, that's kind of expensive. And it's not like it's an indie band. Indie brand, this is like a company. Second thing I got was this Vincent Vincent Longo Dimensional Eyeshadow in the shade Don't Speak. And they said that this is a $25, this retail value is a $25 for one single pan eyeshadow. What are you putting in this to make it $25? One eye. Am I being dramatic or is that a lot for one eyeshadow? Vincent Longo, $25. When you can get a L'Oreal eyeshadow, that's really soft, but when you can get a L'Oreal eyeshadow the same size for like eight to $10. And I don't really use this color, so that's kind of not a, I don't know. Maybe in the winter, I can I can come up with some kind of look. Did you look it up? Yeah, For probably like $10. Then I got this Babe Box eyeshadow brush. And it says that this retails for $11. Every brush I have has pretty much been gifted to me. And the brushes that weren't, and the brushes I bought myself, I paid I paid like $11 for. So this is what the brush looks like. It is really soft. I'm not gonna judge this brush before I use it. And I like brushes. So I'm not gonna complain about this one. The last thing I got in the box is this Spa Standards Avocado and Collagen Firming Facial Mask, Nourishing Firming, nourishing firming 20 Minutes Facial Treatment. I'll never complain about masks. You get three of them in here, and this is a $29 value. Um, I don't know. I, like, I really need to start looking this stuff up and see how much it actually is in real life and not what Babe Box tells me it is. Because to me, I thought that you're supposed to be getting only the brand's makeup whenever you subs like whenever you make pay for the subscription. Like, you're only supposed to be getting Focular makeup. And that's not what I've gotten. Like the first box, the free box I got, like everything was folklore in the first box. And like there's a lot of miscellaneous brands in here and some that I've never heard of. My $10 gift card because they knew they screwed up. So that is it for this video, you guys. Sorry about the rants, but that was really frustrating. I'm pretty sure if you were in my position, you'd be pretty frustrated with this company as well. Now I know that they're going around and they're sponsoring a lot of bigger YouTubers right now and so that's why my voice is little but it's loud. So hopefully you are very wise before you subscribe to their box. I don't know how it is whenever you purchase makeup and that's why I want to use the $10 gift card to purchase their actual makeup from their website and see what kind of experience I have and to see kind of what it's like. And so, yeah, I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. I'll keep you updated on if I use that gift card or not. If you haven't already, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah!